At any one time, there can be around 20,000 aircraft in the sky across the globe. When you look at our partners, Flight Radar 24, the sky looks busier than ever before. But what stops planes colliding with each other as they crisscross at hundreds of miles an hour, and how do pilots know where they're going? When you drive down a busy motorway, one of the main things keeping things orderly is the lanes. Usually three or four lanes will keep traffic in line with enough separation from each other to avoid crashing. You might think this is not possible in the sky, however believe it or not, the sky above us is full of virtual traffic lanes connecting to waypoints, creating a web of virtual roads in the sky. In fact, these lanes don't just keep planes apart laterally, but also vertically massively increasing the amount of routes available for the huge number of jets in the sky today. These lanes are called airways and they connect to waypoints which are dotted all over the world. When a pilot is getting ready to fly, they plan their route using these waypoints and airways. This is usually sent through to them from their company's operation center and it takes into account where they need to go, the other traffic in the sky, the amount of congestion along the route at the time, alongside things like weather as well. This not only ensures that you get to your destination without getting lost, but it also makes sure that laterally the planes stay separated and ATC can see the exact route that you are taking. Aircraft are also 20 miles apart from each other when traveling along the same route and planes are separated vertically by a minimum of 1,000 feet to avoid head-on collisions. This means that you can have two aircraft heading along the same route in opposite directions perfectly safely. Airways began to be introduced in the 90s 1920s as an increase in air traffic meant that a formal system was required to ensure safe and organized movement. Waypoints have evolved a lot since the early days of travel and following the introduction of GPS, the precision of aircraft navigation has skyrocketed. There are also specific ways in and out of an airport that link up with these waypoints and these are called standard instrument departures and standard terminal arrivals or SIDS and STARS for short. These routings are given to the pilots by ATC when they request departure or arrival to an airport, the pilots will reference and check these on their charts as well during their briefings on board. But what happens if an aircraft loses GPS data? Well, we've made a full video on GPS jamming and spoofing, so make sure you go and check that out. The link will be in the description. But in the very rare instance that this happens, the aircraft has a device on board called the TCAS, and this warns the pilots if they are close to another aircraft and it recommends a corrective action to take to avoid any possible collision. So just think, next time you look at flight radar, remember it's all completely under control.